But you go from Slow legs down. to pasta. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Easy. You That's just do it, it, right? Yeah. You just do it. Rainy's eating already. Mm -hmm. This looks delicious, of course. All courtesy of Kathy and Second Helpings, because we're talking about the great pasta push and all of the really great work you guys do. Of course, welcome back into our kitchen. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Let's Thanks. talk very quickly, because you were, you were mentioning the upside of the pandemic. I want to make sure we get to that, because that's not always something that happens. Right. And, you know, obviously there are there's a lot of downsides to it. But one yeah. of the upsides is that at Second Helpings, we found people that needed food that have probably needed food all along hmm. before the pandemic. Oh, wow. And so we've had to switch our models a little bit and, and continue. And we're going to continue to feed those people. Do you find that were those people just a little timid, a little afraid, um, not wanting to bring that to the forefront? At some, yeah, probably in the beginning, but I think when the pandemic just exploded and yeah. there were so many people. And Not afraid no, to ask, yeah, right? And there do was what just you no do. way for them right. to get the food. You know, there's the story of the grandfather that had his son and his grandkids living with him and mm -hmm. needed some food in the yeah. in the house. If you so, need help, you need help. Right, right. you need help, but right. don't be afraid to ask right. for it. But that's, so I think that's probably, you know, a positive that came out of yeah. this. Yeah, well, we're so happy that you are here to help out. We're making another tasty dish. Yes. So this one's with chicken and cheese. Chicken and cheese. So, uh, again, kind of the same uh, same uh, premise as before. Uh, we're going we're gonna to start out. We got a little bit of garlic. We got some salt and pepper. So we're going to throw that in there. Smell nice in here. It's always with garlic. Smell so good. I, yeah. Yeah. With garlic and onion and <laughs> yeah. bacon. And we're going to put some cauliflower good. and some broccoli because we want to be healthy. Yeah. You know, um, we want to make sure everybody's getting their vegetables and stuff. Right. And I'm going to put, we got a little mixture of salt and pepper and some minced <coughs> onions. Sometimes we don't have um, fresh onions, so we use some spices okay. when we need to, like that. And we're just going to, again, most of this stuff is already steamed or uh, right, ready roasted to go. a little ready to go. So when they're putting it in those big quantities, um, it doesn't take long. And I'm going to throw the chicken in there. And we're going to let this cook for a minute. I tell you what, while you let that cook, let's bring our attention over to this big thing. Because right. you brought this for a reason, Kathy. Tell us about this. So this is the way we send food out to agencies that uh, have a communal uh, dining. Now, it's starting to come back during the pandemic. Nobody would do that. They couldn't do that. So this is oh, how the pan does. goes out. It's basically what you guys have there. Uh, it's an Italian beef. We send it out with plastic and foil. They throw it in their ovens and they cook that for about, oh, 40, 45 minutes. And uh, it's ready to go. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Easy enough and ready for the people yeah. who really do truly need it. And again, uh, you know, most of what we fix has pasta in it. So uh, we always, and pasta is one of those things that doesn't expire. Yeah. So it's sometimes we have a hard time getting the pasta because it mm -hmm. doesn't expire. So. But filling too, right? Because that's oh, the most yeah. important thing. You want right. people to get full get fast. Get full and have their, you know, there is nutrition in the starch. Yes, you know, we think yep. that we, we all say, oh, we don't need, but there's nutrition yeah. in the mm -hmm. starch. So. Yeah, there really is. Yeah. Well, so let's talk second helpings really quickly. Absolutely. People are a bit unfamiliar with kind of what you do and we're talking about it, but hey, how does this really work? So what we do is we have a threefold mission and we transform lives through the power of food. Uh, our first part of our mission is, is uh, hunger food rescue. We go out, we rescue food uh, from wholesalers, retailers, grocery stores, uh, restaurants. Yeah, stuff it's that's all just great kinda, food. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's either overstocked, mm -hmm. getting close to a use yeah. by date. And very quickly, Kathy, I know they're telling me to wrap, but what yep. are those two other things real quickly? We do culinary job training and hunger relief where and we hunger feed relief. I think the most important message, Randy, that we can take away from this is feeding hungry Hoosiers Absolutely. and helping minimize this problem a little bit. Again, you have a chance to donate on our website, wishtv.com, all the details about the great pasta push. The cheese is going in. She's melting things up. Yeah.